and gentlemen, on behalf of the PETNET board, I welcome you to this um, PET in Mind meeting 2022 here at the Teufelhof in Basel. Before we start to get all scientific, here a little background information about Switzerland, mm -hmm. about some tips when you get back home, and about your conference bag. Switzerland, as you can see here, uh, looks a bit like a pig, some said. <laughs> we are currently located here in Basel, which is kind of a special city, as we are in between um, Germany to the north and France in the west. Switzerland is a country of about 8.4 million inhabitants, whereas we have four national languages. In the east, we have some um, people speaking Romansh, but they mostly also speak some kind of Swiss German, otherwise nobody would understand, because it's not very popular. In the south, where our um, Italian friends are, there's Ticino, Italian-speaking region of Switzerland. Then the major part in here, central Switzerland, is Swiss-German-speaking, and to the west, we have the French-speaking part called Romano. Cultural-wise, this looks a bit like that. <laughs> it's called Röschlidich. The reason for that is that the majority of um, German-speaking people, when voting, what we do four times a year, they just overrule everything they want to decide here. So it's also a mind gap, which I hope we will not have here. Although we also have some kind of a ditch. Some cartoonists also drew it like that. And there were actually some uh, foreigners who saw that ah, this rusty ditch is something which you could actually see. So some sort of landscape, which unfortunately is not the case. It's just the case that we have some um, bilingual countries which speak um, both languages at the same time. Um, regarding Basel, we are here at the third most populous city after Zurich and Geneva, with about 175,000 inhabitants, which I think in uh, American measures it's a small village. <laughs> Basel itself is famous for museums. We have the Fondation Baylor, uh, where there are art exhibitions which vary over time. For example, Picasso exhibition has been there and so on. We have the Museum Tangeli, where we have huge uh, metal instruments moving around, being art. And we have the Museum of Contemporary Art. We furthermore have the University of Basel, which is Switzerland's oldest um, university, founded in 1460. And we have the famous pharmacy companies, Roche and Novartis. Um, maybe you have already seen the, the Roche Towers, which are Switzerland's two most um, two tallest buildings. They are not so tall as the buildings we have in America, or you have in America, but we are doing our best to keep up. Furthermore, we have Art Basel, which is an art exhibition, which is very famous. Um, the stars from America come over here to buy stuff. I think George Clooney and so on was here. And there's also an Art Basel in Miami. And now here my tip if you want to impress your neighbors. This is pretty simple. You just bring some art basel spirit back home. What you need is some duct tape and a banana. <laughs> and then you show your uh, neighbor, I got art at home. But be careful which neighbor you invite. Because this might end up all wrong and you might eat your banana. What we have furthermore is FC Basel, this is the football club. Most <coughs> people like it, the others hate it because it has been too successful during the past years. Furthermore, as we are not having any sea connection, we only have the, the, the Rhine River um, coming in, which uh, brings shipments from the sea. And Basel has Switzerland's only cargo port. According to a study in 2019, Basel was ranked the 10th most liberal city in the world. Now, regarding your conference bag, we put in some Swiss products. I don't know, has anybody yet tried Rivella? Okay, did you like it, Sarah? Yeah, it's okay. okay. 
you're the first one who liked it. Because usually, usually people hate it. They're like, ah, it's just drink for Swiss people. Ah, it's not Coke here. So Rivella is seen as Switzerland national beverage. It was introduced in 1952. And the special thing about it is that it is made from uh, milk whey. Therefore, also the somewhat special taste. However, it is very famous. Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't like it that much. And maybe if you have watched some Netflix over um, the pandemic phases, you know Geralt from Rivella, <laughs> from the movie uh, Witch and Wild Hunt. Furthermore, within your conference bag, you find a um, Victorinox knife. The reason for that is on one hand, we are here in Switzerland, the um, most dangerous city. Other reasons are it's a cultural iconic of Switzerland, these pocket knives. So if you want to bring something home to your beloved ones, it will be such a knife. However, be careful and don't put it in the hand luggage, otherwise the guys at the airport catch it and use it for their own. Regarding uh, using these knives, always um, take the sharp side pointing away from you and not the other way around. Furthermore, you have some lacquerly, which um, yeah, in Switzerland lacquerly also means dog food, but uh, in Basel it means delicious, so be careful about that. It is a traditional um, hard spice biscuit, which is um, very popular here, so it's the yeah, national bakery thing, made of honey, hazelnuts, almond pie, almond, candied peel, and kirsch. And the reason they have that is that the monks went crazy some time ago when um, oriental spices reached Europe. They probably had just too much of it and, and put it in some bakery stuff. Regarding our conference today, we have nine countries. Whereas the United States is uh, the largest part of today's participants. Congratulations on that. For today, we will have the following program. We are now at the welcome message, which will end soon. This will be followed by a keynote about phosphatidyl ethanol by Professor Wolfgang Weimann. Afterwards, we will have a um, scientific session, which is divided into two parts. This will be a total of nine um, scientific presentations. In between, there's a coffee break, which will take place outside. In case you're looking for the toilets, they are behind me. Well, behind the wall. <laughs> Not that you get me wrong. Um, after the scientific session, there will be a longer lunch break. Lunch will be served at the restaurant Atelier. This is at the Teufelhof main building, just over the street. And you should find it. There should be a room um, just for us. It will be a lunch buffet, so everybody can choose what they want. Um, please be punctual back at 22, where we will then have our laboratory sessions. There will be 11 presentations, once more with a coffee break. And afterwards, you will have at about 6 o'clock the award ceremony for um, Best Presentation Award and Best Innovation Award. Um, what you can win, you can see at the back on the two tables. And then you will have a short break before um, dinner. The dinner will take place at um, the restaurant Schützenhaus in Basel. This is an uh, 11 minutes walk from here um, to the restaurant Schützenhaus, which is about somewhat this direction. I think you all have um, either uh, Google Maps or else we can also guide you. Today's chairs for the scientific session. Um, we have um, Sarah Wille from Belgium, and we have our secretary Frederike Stöld, which is here. And they will lead us um, through the session and look that everybody is on time with their presentations, and they will also um, lead you through the questions. For questions, we have two microphones on one hand. Um, for the scientific chairs. On the other hand, you can also, if you don't want to shout, you have uh, microphones back there, um, which are mobile. The afternoon session will be chaired by um, Judy Hahn from the USA and Professor Christoph Stoff.
I would like to thank all the chairs for taking the opportunity um, to serve for us. And with that, we are now almost getting ready for the scientific session. I would like to introduce for today's keynote, Professor Wolfgang Weimann from the Institute of Forensic Medicine in Bern. He does pet research for more than 10 years and has currently the most beautiful um, Institute of Forensic Medicine in um, Switzerland. He is also the reason we are here today, because some six years ago, he hired me as PhD student. 